Hi, I'm Johnny Knoxville, and I'm gonna get hit by a car real soon. This is the early 90s. Skateboarding was struggling as a whole. There was a need for something new. Skateboarding itself was changing, and the big companies were sort of oblivious of it. So Steve Rock was like, I'm gonna go make my own magazine. So why did you decide to start the magazine? Basically because I was told no. Big Brother came along, and then it was like all bets are off. There were no rules, and we had to fill the pages with something. You know, they don't take photos for that magazine, they just film. You can pull a frame grab from a video and put it in print. The quality was so shitty. <laughs> it was a true window into what these skaters were really like. But it wasn't just skating, it was a lot of bad behavior. Right around this time, we got into some real trouble. Found inside Big Brother magazine was an eye-opening look into the world of adult material. It's time, we're gonna say no more. It opened Pandora's box and like, man, this is really entertaining when people take it to this level. I thought I could make a TV show out of it, and MTV just loved it. You know, they ordered the series. Ma'am, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, this sausage doesn't look right. It looks a little like poo. Nowadays, you could search on YouTube and find crazy stuff. There was nothing like Big Brother videos out there. Jackass came out of that. Jackass before Jackass. It forever changed the face of pop culture. Every aspect of what we did was unprofessional and amateur. This is beyond dumb. 